hello student i am back with my fourth part of diversity in living organism from biology class 9th in my previous third slide i have explained you about the animal kingdom animalia including porifera cilentrita platyhelminthes nematode annelids arthropod mollusca echinodermata and protocordate Today I'll be explaining you about vertebrata. Now vertebrata or verte or the animals which contain vertebrates or backbone. Among them we are the higher animals which have the backbone. Because of the support of this backbone we are able to stand erect. We are able to perform all the functions. Now vertebrates include class Pisces, that is fish, class amphibia, animals which live both on land and water, class reptilia, reptiles, class apes, that is bird, and class mammalia, that means animals which give birth to young ones or have mammary glands. Now coming to the chordate or vertebrata. Now vertebrates have presence of dorsal, tubular, hollow nerve cord. Now, dorsal, back, tubular, tube-like structure, hollow nerve cord on me present hoti hai. They even have notochords. Now, notochords jo hai, wo ek, we can say like in Hindi, we can say ki jo vertebrate hoti hai, uske formation ka starting phase jo rata, wo notochord ka rata hai. Like, small, thin vertebrate-like structure develops. Then presence of pharyngeal gill slits. Now pharyngeal gill slits like fish, fish ke side mein jo gills hote hain, unme slits hote hain ge, like line ke andar chote chote bane hai rata hain ge, jisse water gets enter. Then presence of post anal tail. Now post anal tail is present which helps in the passing of the urine. Bilateral symmetrical body, we all know, I have already explained you symmetry. So, these vertebrates are having bilateral symmetry, front part and back part. Then they are having three germ layers, endoderm, mesoderm and ectoderm. And organ system is, uh, sorry, level of organization is organ system based. That means cell, cell to tissue, tissue to organ and organ system. Is, this is known as higher level of organization. They have ventral heart and hepatic portal system. Ventral heart, heart is the well developed and hepatic portal system that means liver is there which helps in the digestion gallbladder and everything is there then presence of well developed endocrine glands now endocrine and exocrine two types of glands are there exocrine glands like lacrimal gland salivary gland and endocrine glands like we have that is a uh, gland which is present in brain then we have pineal gland, we have thyroid gland, we have pituitary gland, uh, then we have adrenaline gland, adrenal gland which secrete adrenaline. Basically these endocrine glands help in the secretion or the release of the hormones. When these hormones are released, they are like a chemical which is released in the blood. These hormones help us to develop our mammary glands, help us to gain our puberty, help us to dif distinguish properly between male and female. Next, except few of primitive forms, animals have vertebral column. Now, the starting phase, few animals are there which have notochord, like undeveloped vertebra, but most of them have well-developed vertebral column. Now, coming to the class. The very first class of uh, vertebrata is Pisces. Now, as the name suggests, and you can have a look at the image which I have shown you, Pisces includes all the bony and cartilages fishes. Now, there are two types of fishes or Pisces, one which is having a good well-developed bony structure and one which is having cartilage. The best example for cartilage is shark and the bony fishes that Katla, Katla, Rohu and many other fishes. Now, if we talk about the characteristic features of Pisces, they are aquatic, their body is streamlined, streamlined that means plain like structure, thin from front, then little thicker in the middle and then again thin at the back. Like 
aeroplane streamlined with pair and unpaired fins now fins are also present in them which helps in the locomotion they are cold blooded vertebrates cold blooded means unka blood thanda hota hai and they have two chambered heart हार्ट दो पार्ट में डिवाइडेड है राइट एंड लेफ्ट में जो वो ब्लड के प्यूरिफिकेशन का रोल प्ले करता है नेक्स्ट लेटरल लाइन सिस्टम इज वेल डेवलप ना लेटरल लाइन सिस्टम एक सिस्टम होता है जिसके अंदर उनके बॉडी के पूरे फंक्शनिंग जो रहता है वो प्रॉपर वे में कंटिन्यू होता है दैट सिस्टम इज प्रॉपरली डेवलप्ड एग्जाम्पल इज शार्क रेज रोहू मृगल ग्रीन कार्प ना other also are there that uh, another point is that fishes lay egg they doesn't give uh, exception cases there which is of dolphin which gives the birth nay no, whale which gives birth to the young ones next coming to another like uh, their entire body is covered with scales and their body is having bones and cartilages tuna and rohu are the examples for this apart from that we have i have shown you the diagram also of katla katla rohu mrigal and green carp fish there are the other fishes also mandarin fish that is syncarpus plantatus then colophyllin jordan that is an angler fish and parrots voltenus these are the fishes that is known as lion fish paris volitans jo hai wo ekdam lion fish ka role play karti hai if you look in your ncert book you can see clearly the diagram and if you are unable to see then you can easily log in from your id and you can have search that on google we have other fishes also that is electric ray or torpedo string fi- ray fish then scolidian or dog fish these are the few fishes apart from that we even these were the cartilages fishes if we talk about bony fish then we have labiorohita rohu male hippocampus that is sea horse then exocetus that is flying fish and last we have anabas that is climbing perch these are the fishes which have this well developed skeleton system our next that is second class is class amphibia now amphibia they are totally different from fish as they does not have scales they are having mus- mucus glands in the skin and they live both on land and as well as water they lay egg in water they respire through gills at the larva stage and then in the adult form they have the lungs the very best example is of toad and frog then they are cold blooded animals and they have three chambered heart if we talk about heart fish was having two chambered heart and amphibians are having three chambered heart fish and amphibians both are cold blooded animals the examples over here are newts toads salamander and frog Now, if we talk about the examples from our ncert we have salamander toad rana tigrina that is common frog hyla that is tree frog then coming to our third class that is class reptilia now reptilia or reptiles includes turtles crocodile snake lizard and tutura now reptilia they are the first complete land animals that means they live on land they are cold blooded and they have well developed lungs they have three chambered heart except crocod- crocodile which is having four chambered hearts they lay egg with tough covering they have their eggs are covered with calcium bicarbonate covering then the body is covered with scales skulls or hard plates depending upon the climatic condition apart from that their best example is that snake crocodile turtle here are the diagrams house wall lizard hemidactylus king cobra flying lizard draco chameleon or chame- chameleon and turtle next coming to our fourth class that is aves or bl- birds now that is one of the most beautiful class you all have seen in your day to day 
life. Now all birds belong to this class. They are warm-blooded animal. Pisces, amphibia and reptile were cold-blooded. Now from apes it is warm-blooded animal. Their heart is four-chambered. They breathe through lungs. And they have four limbs which are modified into wings which help them to fly. And they have jaws which are modified into beaks. Jaw, yani, jaysay humare paas se bolne ke liye ki humare up and down movement hota hai ga, mouth ka. To wo jaws jo rehte hai, wo unke beak mein developed ho jate hai, modify ho jate hai, jo unhe help karta hai ga, food consume karne mein. Their bones are hollow and most of the bones are fused to reduce the body weight of the bird so that they can fly higher. Apart from that, all birds fall in this category, we are aware. They have an exoskeleton which is in the form of feathers. Now, best example is white stork, that is Siona, Siona, then male, tuft, dug, Athia, Polygia, ostrich, then pigeon, sparrow and crow are the examples. You need to learn their names. Now, all the birds fall in this category and they lay egg. They also have their eggs covered with a hard covering of calcium carbonate. Next, we have fifth class that is class Mammalia which includes mammals which are warm-blooded, breathe through lungs. They are four-chambered. They have hair on their body. Apart from that, they have sweat oil and oil glands which make them different and segregate them from other animals. Then they have the presence of pinna internal and sorry that is external ear is also seen only in mammals. Now external ear we have ear kaan hai kaan ka andar ka part hai, that is internal part and kaar ke bahar ka jo part hai where we wear our earrings where uh, sometimes teacher even so teacher and parents hold the ears that is the part which is known as pinna. So that pinna is only seen in mammals. They have mammary gland which help them to feed their young ones. They give birth to young ones. We all are aware of that thing. Now example human cattle. Then we even have the example of kangaroo. One, one typical property is there that plat Platypus and Echidna. Now, Platypus and Echidna are mammals, but they lay egg. Apart from that, they are warm-blooded, they have four-chambered heart, then they feed also, but still they lay egg. And kangaroo is the one which gives birth to young one, but still the young one is very poorly developed one. That is, it is not properly developed. The, the reason is that it's proper body development or we can say that kangaroo's proper body development is not there due to which its young one also uh, poorly develops then these are the examples of the animals which belong to class mammalia you can have a look at them and you can see that we have toe hoofed animals we have pangolian we have bats, we have whales and porpoise, we have meat eater carnivores that is fox and wolves, we have dogons and mitons, we have insectivorous animals, we have primates, we have pickers, hares and rabbits, we have gone mammals, we have e even toad hoops, we have collies, toothless mammals, seals and Sea lions, elephants, ag-laying mammals. Then we have pouched animal that is marsupialia or kangaroo. Now these are the few examples of the uh, class mammalia. Apart from that, cat, human, rat, bat and whale are the examples from our NCRT book. Now before we go to other topic. I just want to explain you the difference between few of the phylum, the class, sorry. The first is difference between amphibia and reptilia. Now, amphibians have adapted to live in water and land and can breathe through their skin in the water. 
Braptalia can live in water but need to come to surrounding or to the surface for breathing. Skin of amphibia is moist and soft while of Raptalia is hardened. Then respiration occurs through gills or through lungs in amphibia but and in Raptalia respiration occurs only through lungs. Amphibia can jump and uh, while Raptalia can move by crawling. Amphibians have developed their indirect through tadpole stage while reptiles develop directly in with no intermediate scale in, uh, stage in cycle. Next coming to difference between aves and mammals. Now the body of aves is covered with feathers while the body of mammal is covered with hairs. Aves have beaks. Mammals don't have beak. They have a mouth. Aves anterior limbs transformed into wings. Now mammals does not have wings but their they have four limb and hinge limb. Aves lay eggs. Most of the mammals give birth to young ones. Exceptional case was pet platypus and echidna. Then aves does not have ear pinna while mammals have ear pinna. Aves they do not have mammary gland to feed their young ones while mammals have the mammary gland to produce milk for the feeding of the young ones. Aves dif diaphragm is absent while in mammals diaphragm is present. Now diaphragm is the part which separates or which form a sep uh, different line between our thoracic cavity and our abdomen. Our chest region is the thoracic cavity. जिसको हम छुएंगे तो बोनी पार्ट उसे और हमारे स्टमक वाले पार्ट को सेपरेट करने के लिए रिस्पॉन्सिबल होता है डायफ्राम नॉट देट दिस इज अ पर्टिकुलर फ्लो चार्ट ऑफ किंगडम एनिमेलिया एंड शोइंग द डिविजन द फर्स्ट डिफ्रेंशिएशन इज डन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज सेलुलर लेवल और टिश्यू लेवल सो सेलुलर लेवल इंक्लूड्स पॉरीफेरा वाइल टिश्यू लेवल इंक्लूड्स थ्री and then again these three are divided on the basis of the body cavity the one which is having no body cavity one which is having pseudo body cavity that is pseudo silomate false body cavity and silomate a good developed cavity no body cavity includes cylindrita and platyhelminthes while pseudo silomate are nematodes and silomate are again divided classified on the basis of the uh, cell that is mesodermal cell presence and then development of the endoderm and mesoderm so the cell which is having mesoderm cells are annelids mollusk and arthropods the one which is having mesoderm ectoderm and endoderm again classified on the basis of notochord and present absence and presence of notochord so the absence of notochord is seen in echinodermata while presence of notochord is seen in chordate I chordate are again divided on the basis of the notochord present at at least larva form but very rudimentary and one notochord present at vertebral column that means notochord present hoti lekin hame visible nahi hoti aur role nahi hai uska kuch so for that example is of protochordate which is hemichordate and notochord replaced by vertebral column in adult that is vertebrate Now these vertebrates are five, which are again classified on the presence of the different different structure. The first is exoskeleton of scale and endoskeleton bone and cartilage, and breathing habit through gills. So the that one is pisces class pisces. Then we have class amphibia in which gills in larva stage, while lungs are developed in the adult stage. Then class reptilia in which exoskeleton exoskeleton of scales is there then lying eggs outside the water they does not uh, lay eggs in the water like amphibians then coming to aves now class aves has having a different characteristic they are warm blooded animals they have exoskeleton which is developed in feathers they lay eggs outside the water and fly possibly then coming to our last class that is class mammalia which includes exoskeleton of hair external ear pinna is present mostly giving birth to young ones and they are warm blooded this was about the tib tibular form of kingdom animalia
this was about animal kingdom it is over now now our next and the last topic will be the nomenclature how the nomenclature of the animals is performed i hope whatever i have explained you today is clear to you once you read through your ncrt books in our next class i'll be uploading a pdf of notes and few uh, questions so that you can clear your doubts and uh, so that you can write those question answers in you know, a fair copies also till then take care stay safe listen to your parents and keep studying